Happy Monday, everybody. Welcome. It is Monday night, which means it's a brand new episode of New Start Monday Nets. Welcome, everybody. I'm Louise from Wildflower Wool, and I am here chatting with you guys every Monday night for an hour from 8 to 9. All things knitting. You guys were voting today on two yarns. I am casting on a baby sweater this week. I have a brand new granddaughter arriving, and... Sorry, somebody's phone's ringing. <laughs> um, so I have a grand, a brand new granddaughter that is arriving this spring. So I need to knit all the things for her. And we're going to start that this week with a baby sweater. Hold on. I'm going to see if I can grab this phone. Oh, maybe it stopped. Um, so you guys were voting. So I, I picked two yarns. One was brand new. Here, let me show them to you. So, like always, we're going to chat about the yarns that were you guys were voting for. And I will show you last week's new start and then a couple of the weeks previous. We'll see what the progress or if there's any finishes. And then, oh, we can always talk about Sock Madness because that is coming up. And that has got me super, super excited. So, we'll probably chat a little bit about that, too. So the yarn that you guys were voting for, there's a little bit of a story to this. I couldn't actually find the other yarn that I wanted to have you guys vote on, which maybe worked out well because they were both yarns that I wanted to knit and one would have lost and I would not have been able to cast it on. So let's start at the beginning here. So this weekend, this past weekend, I went down to Little Red Mitten one of my local yarn shops and I bought two balls of this really pretty lilac. I was I was kind of stuck as to what color it was. I don't know why I couldn't I couldn't think of a, a name and then a color name and then somebody said it looks like lilac and I'm thinking you're right. I think on the camera it's looking a little more purple in person it looks a little more pinky purple. So I have never knit with this before. And the girls at Little Red Mitten are so super wonderful and helpful. They helped me with actually two projects on Friday night. So I told them that I wanted to start getting some yarn for baby knits. And they kind of steered me. There was a couple of different options. And this one here, Cascade Anchor Bay, is one that I had never knit with before. So it feels super, super soft. And I thought, I'm going to try it. So it is, it's a worsted, it's a worsted weight or a DK. I think there was one ball I was looking at, it actually had both, both on there. So I, I guess depending on how tight or loose you're knitting, but it is talking a four to a 4.5 millimeter needle, 20 to 22 stitches over four inches. It is machine washable and dryable and no name. So that's why I think it should be lilac, though. I think that's probably the colorway it should be. It's really soft. So what is the fiber content? Right on the front. 50% cotton, 50% superwash merino. So there it is. So it is, it is really, really, really nice. So I was really excited to try that. So I bought that, not knowing exactly the sweater pattern that I was going to do with it. The missing yarn, the other yarn I've had for a while, I bought it at Knit Stitch before Christmas and it was a variegated pink. Even before we knew for sure if the baby was going to be a girl or a boy, I, I just had a feeling it was a girl. So I bought this yarn because it did have shades of pink in it and I thought, no, nope, I'm pretty sure this baby's gonna be a girl. I bought this yarn and then I put it away. Obviously I was decorating, getting ready for Christmas. Can't find it. <laughs> Cannot find it. It is somewhere, you know, one of those really good spots that I was sure I would know where it was. Yep, yeah, nope, could not find it this morning. So I had to kind of go to plan B. And I had thought, well, maybe some patents grace because it's 100% cotton. It would make a nice baby sweater. Well, I couldn't find the colors because I still haven't put all my yarn back into the yarn room. So all of my patents grace. Most of all my cotton is still all bagged up and in totes and all piled, ready to get put back. So I know Liz exactly. I put it in a safe spot. 
that I will find hopefully soon because I would like to knit it at some point. So anyways, when I was going through looking for some yarn and I was like, hmm, I really wasn't sure what else I wanted to have as far as baby knit. So with yarn that is in my stash because I don't know, nothing really seemed right for a baby. But then I came across to this and I thought, well, this would be a good conversation starter. And to see what you guys think about, would you knit this into a sweater? The color is really pretty. And I have tons and tons and well, not tons, but maybe, I don't know how many, 12 balls of this anyways. I'm not sure how many I have. I bought this thinking that I would do a little summer top for me. And I know what, oh, I forget who it was now. Somebody left me a comment and when they were voting and they're like, Louise, that is, that cotton is for doilies. That's not for sweaters. And she's like, I'm voting for the lilac. <laughs> and I know typically this would be, it, but it's pearl cotton. Has anybody used this for sweaters? And the reason I grabbed it when I bought it, this came from the Listowel tent sale a number of years ago. And there was a lady there wearing a sweater. And I can't remember if it must have been a summer top. The tent sale is in August. So it must have been a summer, either a short sleeve, like t-shirt kind of pullover, or if it was like a tank kind of thing. And she had made a top out of this. And that's why I bought like practically every color they had. <laughs> I have a lot. And um, okay, so Sherry's saying it, she thinks it would make a really cute summer tank dress or bonnet. See, and I think it would too. And I know a couple of people said, well, cotton is hard on their hands. They found cotton rough. Some people thought that this, the cotton in the merino would be more snuggly. It would be softer. So those are all good points. And really, this one probably is softer. This one is softer. But this feels not bad either, you know? And um, I had some really nice colors of Patton's Croy in a purpley blue, like marled. It's some really old stuff that is... Um, discontinued. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think it has lilac in the name of it, I bet you too. Anyways, I was I looked at that and I debated and I thought, oh, I don't know. I'm wondering if the croy would just be a little too rough for a brand new baby's skin. And when, oh, see, Jocelyn's saying exactly what I was just going to say. As I was thinking that, I could hear Asa's voice in the back of my head saying, in Norway, babies wear wool. And probably not superwash merino, probably good sturdy wool. <laughs> and and that's what, exactly what Jocelyn said. She said, introduce them to real wool as soon as possible. So that's what I'm kind of thinking because I have never knit. This is the first baby I've had to knit for. So that was a thought I had. I was like, hmm. Oh, Nikki says she put Briggs and Little on her babies. Okay, so then I don't need to worry about patents. Well, then, Nikki, this has just opened up. It's like the floodgates have opened here. The possibilities of what I can knit for this baby now are pretty much endless. So anyways, that's what I was really thinking because this here is really soft, really, really nice and soft. And so that's what I was thinking. I thought, well, I would go cotton as opposed to something that had a bit of wool in it, even for like the first month and then start introducing it because I would like some nice wool. That's what I want to knit with for the baby is some super wash as opposed to acrylic. So this baby, don't worry, Jocelyn, this baby will get used to, we'll get some used to wool, but maybe I'll just kind of ease them into it. Oh, and look, everybody, I saw somebody, I had somebody knocking on my door earlier tonight. Hi, Sam. I think Sammy is here. I saw somebody saying hi to her. So. Mom, say hi to her. What? You okay. can hear me, Mom. Just, Eric. just say hi to her. 
Um, see, I Eric, know. they can hear you. Well, see, I see. Okay. Amber says hi. Yeah, there you go. Tracy see. says hi. Mom, please back to me. I don't stop until, it's, until, until this is over. Hi, Eric. So, hi, Eric. okay, how about you just sit quiet? Hi, Susie. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Sally. This might be an interesting Hi, Liz. Hi, Liz. Okay. Eric. No, I want better. Okay. All right. No, no. Um, so anyways, I'm going to try to continue on here. Hi, um, oh, why is this not? Hi, anyway, okay. Sorry. I'm playing with my screen. I'm playing with buttons that I should not do. So anyway, so I was back to thinking about, um, yeah, cotton versus wool. So anyways, this is what I pulled out because I couldn't find the other really, really pretty, pretty stuff. So this is what we voted for. And Eric, do you want to guess? Hi, Eric. Yeah. I'm going to guess. Mom. So this is, this is going to be for Anita's when, baby. When, when second we followers. One second we one second we're followers. Okay, one second. Okay, we're going to get Eric. We're gonna, before I tell you which one won, which one would you think I should I should start knitting a little sweater for the brand new baby? What what brand new baby? Anita's baby. Well, how are you? Okay. This how one? You this one? What? Or this one? Purple. Purple? Okay. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Dun. All right, Eric's, Eric's giving us a drum roll. So, and the winning yarn is, is. Which one? Hold, which, hold it up. Which one, which, which, one, which one do you think, people? Which one? Well, there is which there one? some votes. Okay, don't. Which one? Okay, hold it up. Oh, which one? Well, Eric, they've already voted. They're waiting. Well, well, I no, can't. Hold it well, up. Eric. Well, it's I I'm waiting. Okay, well, there's no waiting. Okay, fine. Here we go. Okay, do it. <laughs> Drum roll, please. Okay, show <laughs> it. It's the purple one. The lilac. You guys voted for it. So. Good job, everyone. <laughs> and it's the one that Eric mm. Eric wanted, too. So look at that. It was a win-win. So. Yes. Now, this one here, I am going to cast on the baby vertebrae. Uh, baby vertebrae, yes. So there's a newborn vertebrae, there's a baby, there's a kid, there's a mama. So baby knits are all brand new to me. I know a lot of you guys were giving me some great ideas. And um, there was another one. I'm not sure if it was Sherry or Jen suggested. Anyways, somebody suggested that I'm going to probably need a whole bunch of them. But I really liked the idea of the baby vertebrae. Okay. And it is. Okay. I'll sh hold on. I'll show it to you. Okay. So okay. it is, it is just a little shrug. So the front of the sweater is open and just reading the little write up for the pattern for two reasons. One, so it can be more, if you wanted to do skin to skin with a newborn or with the fact if you have a baby that does a lot of spitting up, the your 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 sweater is not going to get spit up on it. It is open, so you just the little sleeper will get um, need to be changed, and the sweater will be fine. So if you're holding them, then it's just the arms on the back that are being um, mm -hmm. kept warm. So I thought that was a great idea, and especially if this is a spring baby, so she's not going to need super super warm things let's hope let's hope at least hopefully spring comes when it's supposed to <laughs> so anyways that is the first one i'm going to do i'm not going to do newborn because i think we all know right newborn is newborn is too tiny too tiny eric so eric probably doesn't know this no i don't but newborn is really really teeny teeny tiny and sometimes babies are born already too big for newborn size clothes oh how why well, because that's the way some babies are. How, how do you know it, Mom? Well, because I've done it twice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so anyway, so I think I'm going to do a three-month size. Mm -hmm. And the pattern is written for sock yarn for the newborn size. So I think I'm just going to do that with the purple and see what size I get. It is only the newborn size only takes half a ball of sock yarn. 
because it's small. That is one sock. That is so, so tiny. So anyway, that's what I'm going to play around with. It's going to be a quick knit, and I'm not even going to say anything about a potential finish because we all know what kind of trouble that gets me in when I say that. But I'm hoping I will have good progress. That's what we're going to say. We're just going to say good progress on that. And um, so I'm just going to take a peek at the, at the chat here. So welcome, everybody. Hope you guys all have got your latest project, maybe something warm to drink and just settled in. Hopefully your Monday has been off to a great start. Oh, look at Liz was giving us a drum roll at the same time you were. Who, who, who's Nikki? Liz. Oh, Nikki. no, who's Nikki? Nikki? Hi, Eric. I voted for the lilac. Oh, <laughs> I know. So, Eric, listen to this. So, Nikki is a lady. She lives out east. Oh, east? Yes. Sure. Nikki. Newfoundland? I think. So. Okay. I yeah. think Newfoundland. Sure. Anyways, so, Eric, when people were voting for baby sweater knits for mm. Anita's new baby. Yes. Some people were teasing me, and they said, cast on the lilac, but also finish Eric's Christmas socks. Oh, my God. I know. So, see, some of the girls here are still thinking about you, knowing that I have not finished your socks yet. Mama, look. Keep on so, screwing up. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Labrina. Oh, no. Don't. Yeah. Mama, that's, that's okay. Just hurry. That's okay. Hurry. Hi, Sally and Anne and Nikki and Sherry and Amber and Susie. I probably can't say hi to everybody. Yes. I said Labrina, yes. Diane, and Sally, Sherry, Tracy. Did we get everybody? Where's Where's Sam? I don't know. I thought you said. Oh, hi, Jude. I don't know. Maybe she was here. Maybe she's gone. I Jocelyn. Ailey, how are you? Allie, sorry. It's Allie. I thought you Ailey. said. Ailey. Oh, my goodness. I'm solely messing it up. No, I thought you said. Sorry. Anyways, hello. How are you guys? Um, okay, that might be. Oh, there's Sam. Right there. Hi, Sam. Oh, Joanne's here. Hi, Joanne. Oops. All Hi. right. So, anyways. Hi, Sam. Sam, Sam, Sam. Are you so? Are you kind of actually so, so surprised that I'm actually here? I'm surprised. Are you actually so surprised, Sam? I think everybody is surprised. Hey, here. Sam. Okay, you're just going to have to wait because it takes a little while. I'm hearing Oh, you. look, Amber says. Who's Amber? Amber. All right, Eric, are you excited to be an uncle? <laughs> are you excited? Oh, yeah. Oh, Sam. yeah. Look. Oh. Um, Susanna. I'll get, yeah. I'll get, I'll get back, back to you on, back to you on, to, to that on Amber. Oh, and I was right. Nikki is in Newfoundland. So, I, Amber I, says we're I, all surprised. Yes, probably not as surprised as I was. Uh, yes, Liz says we are all surprised that you were here. <laughs> I said Sam, not Liz. I know. Well, I don't know. Maybe Sam's not there right now. Maybe she's... Who's Nikki? Nikki's the girl that lives in Newfoundland. Oh, Nikki's working on her night shift shawl. Oh, yeah, for the mosaic challenge. Okay, well, let's talk about mosaic knitting then. So I this is what we're casting on. Well, I don't know where she is. Mom. Just sit quiet. Well, I'm waiting for her. Well, you'll have to sit my Okay, so the other thing that the girls at Little Red Mitten helped me out with Oh, this is a sad story, you guys. Why? Why is it sad? Well, it's not super, super sad. It's just, it is not the outcome I was wanting. Let's why? say that. Okay, so my mosaic knitting. Why? Well, I'll tell you. Just listen. So look what I was working on here. The amber. <laughs> Mom, amber. Up. Yes, amber. Sam might not... Oh, Sam might be taking it easy, Erica. She was not feeling well. Oh. Oh, so maybe she's not here anymore. Maybe she just popped on to say hello, and then maybe she's gone to rest. Is, is it is it is it true, Amber? Well, probably. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, let's see. We'll listen, Amber. Amber will tell us. Well, who's, um, who's that, Mom? Labrina. 
Who's that? Where's she from? I don't know. She's from. Well, we'll ask she her. She's need to work on my heels. Oh, you're working on socks. Nice. Okay, ask, so. Ask her mom. Well, she can hear you. Maybe she'll type it in hey, for you. Hey, Brina. Brina Williams, where are you? There she is, mom. Okay. Oh, there's Sam. Okay. Choice you, All right. Well, just, She's just, a just, Okay, you cannot swear. Hi, Sam. Okay. Hi, so. Sam. Okay, we're gonna talk about this now. Okay. Oh, I'm from 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 Las Vegas. Oh, it's nice and warm down there. No snow in Las Vegas. Well, that's awesome. Yeah. Okay, so I gotta tell everybody about my story here. So you can read the comments, but just stay quiet for a minute. Mm -hmm. Okay, so everybody mm -hmm. knows that I was running out of yarn. Went down to Little Red Mitten. These two colors, you guys, are discontinued. We kind of figured that we talked a little bit about this on Saturday. Actually, we talked about a lot about this. So if you guys were with Cheryl and I Saturday, you know what I'm going to ask you. Hi, Sam. There was. Um, so no more of these two colors left. So I could not get the extra to make this longer. So Hi, Eric. <laughs> there you go. Sam answered. Hi. See, see, he, he, Sam. Guess what? Guess what, Sam? Okay, she. You'll just have to tell her because she... I will wait. Okay, okay. Then you sit tight and, I will... and let me finish my story. I will okay? wait, mom. So, Hurry, mom. what I came up with, <laughs> Jillian suggested this: the dark mustard, and she said, "Why don't you just do garter stitch? Just go a completely different, contrasting bright color, and finish it off." as long as I want, in garter stitch, in something just totally different. I had some shades of gray, and Jolene and Jillian kind of thought, hmm, the mustard looks kind of fun with it. And I had it out because I had it mixed with a darker blue to kind of color block it. So anyways, what I ended up doing was getting a couple of bottles of this to add on here. So the scarf will be mustard, garter stitch, and then... This will be kind of an accent block. I will will be alright. I I have to go get some ice because I feel I Oh she uh, fell. Are you okay, Sam? Oh no. Well Sam, go get what you need. So anyways, so that's what I'm going to do. So um um <laughs> well, what happened? Oh, why don't you just come sit down, please? Mama, is, so, is similar? yes, Sam is fine. Where is she? Where is she? Is so, she, is she I have got, I have got oh, this to do garter bad. stitch, and oh, Jocelyn says the garter stitch finish is a great idea. I think it's a great idea too because I had not thought about that before. I had a couple of ideas, right, about just finishing it short color blocking it um a couple of people sent me some links where i could maybe get some more of the shades of blue um anyways i thought you know what this i'm gonna do some people saturday were like oh louise this shade of this shade of mustard is like the most terriblest color ever <laughs> was basically what well that I think Angela was flat out said it she's like that color's ugly <laughs> which is fine not everybody likes this but um I'm gonna do it so we're gonna I'm gonna debut it Saturday with Cheryl on the Fiber Friends podcast then I'll show it to you guys Monday if I really really don't like it I'll pull it out but I really really want this to be long so this is what I'm gonna do so I think I saw Sherry saying she thought that would be would be a fun idea. So I'm mm -hmm. I'm going to go with that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, mm -hmm. my, my, my who, who's call? Good thing. All right. Well then, why don't you call them back? So that is my mosaic mm -hmm. project. Uh, uh, I'm trying to. Uh, uh, sure, you can go upstairs. I don't see you. Why don't you go upstairs? Which room? Doesn't matter. Pick one. Your old room. So that is going to be. I'll do it. No. Go. Just 
Don't. Sorry, guys. This is just a bit of chaos around here. <laughs> hi. Hi. So, um, that How is it you? for the mosaic project. Um, Mitts. Uh, this yes, was I the am. project that I was the closest I to getting I, finished. I, 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 <laughs> Go with the I, flow. I, well, I, that's I, I, kind I, of what it I, is. I, I, I so, Mitts almost had a finish. Almost had a finish. Oh, thanks, Sabrina. <laughs> what is it's life with Eric. Always interesting. What? That is very true. What? Okay. Just careful. Are, Every time are you, you sure? This, you're getting everybody seasick. Are you sure? Sure. Sure. Oh, Sabrina. Tracy. Sabrina. What? Okay. Mom, what's she saying? <laughs> Mom, what's she saying? Mom? Just relax. So now, Eric, I'm talking about mitts. Mom, what's she saying? Mom? My mitts. So, my whiteboard here, you guys, is up to date. Yes, look at Daisy's even here. We've got everybody here. Maybe in the spring we'll have Anita and the baby here. So there's the whiteboard with my projects on here. So mosaic, <laughs> mosaic scarf is like half, not even quite half done. But my second week, my blue wish mitts. Well, let me show you those because they were almost finished, almost done. And there was a story with these as well, but I'll show you what I've got. So this is Drops Wish. It is alpaca, merino, and cotton. I think the cotton, I think we decided that the cotton is um, what's in the center of this and then the merino and alpaca are spun around it. So super, super soft. Question about the durability. I will have these ready to wear to test out the durability. We're going to get a bunch of snow. Apparently, we've got snow swell warnings out for Wednesday and Thursday. And Friday. And Friday, too, Eric says. And Saturday. So, yeah, we're supposed to get a bunch of snow. So, I'm almost ready for the snowstorm. You are? I am. Um, you are, Mom? Well, look at my mitts, Eric. Which mitts? Look at, turn around. I can't, I can't see it. So, so I've almost got them done. But this is the second time. So look, see how I'm almost ready? What am I missing? Right. So I am one thumb away from a finish. So, <laughs> oh, it looks so pretty with my glasses. Yes, oh I have a blue, a blue theme going on, right? So this stuff, so what did I have done on this mitt? I can't even remember. You can remember. Um, you can remember. Mama. I believe you. Do you believe in me? Yes, Wonderful. I believe you. I believe in you. Thank you. Come on. So this was the drops pattern. Think. Um, I think what? it was two two six friendship mitts. It's from. It's by Drops, and we talked a bit about the drops pattern. Whoa, these are actually really really warm. Okay. And the pattern was terrible, you guys. And a lot of drops, we talked about this, I think, last week, about how a lot of drops patterns are not all that good. And, yeah, this one was not good. I took pictures of my first mitt. I did the whole entire mitt the way – don't pull all that out. Mom, well, um, well, I keep telling you this. Mom, the whole – Mom, what about money? the way that the pattern was written and the ribbing chip looked at that's right the giant thumb did you guys see i posted that and it was this huge the thumb hole like came all the way out here it was absolutely huge and um so i pulled it all out so i did the whole mitt the ribbing was good it had a really weird like it didn't have a thumb gusset i don't know how they did the thumb it was kind of weird and mm -hmm. It ended up being super huge because literally half my palm was showing through that thumb hole. Then they had you decrease stitches after the ribbing. So one time I got up here to do the decreasing, I had this huge thumb hole and a mitt 
that was super, super tiny. It kind of looked something like, I don't know. It was really, really small and really, really snug and really did not fit all that well. So I pulled it <laughs> all the way back down to the ribbing and ditched the pattern. I mean, it was just a plain Jane pattern anyways, but I just did my own thing, just kind of like my super simple mitt. Okay. And um, I kept the ribbing because the cuff fit nice and knit some plain rows, okay. did an actual thumb gusset on it, okay. and then knit the rest of the mitt, okay. and then just did just three rounds of decreasing. Okay. And... It fits. That's good, Mom. Yes. I so, I really, you. really simple and easy. I believe you, Mom. Well, thank you. Hey, Mama. And I did this one. Hey, Mama. The same. And just have to pick up my stitches. So, I've got my stitches here on my waist yarn. I'll pick those up. Pick up one stitch on either side. Um, Like at the end here kind of in the, you know, in the middle between the front and the back of your thumb stitches. Mm -hmm. And then I'll, I'll pick up stitches across the back here in mm -hmm. the round. Mm -hmm. Just knit at the length of my thumb. Mm -hmm. Do a couple decrease rounds, like knit two together all the way around. Close up the top. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then it'll be done. That's good. Yeah, so I will have these done nice. tonight. So That's when? if you see how... No. If I stay up, yes. Because you got to work tomorrow. I do have to work tomorrow. So that um, will be the big question. Will I stay up long enough to pick up stitches um, um, and knit a thumb? Um, <laughs> yes, Eric. Mom, um, um, yes. Um, my bus, my bus comes up. If, I, if I'm going to take the bus home, mm -hmm. Mom? Yeah. Or it is? Yes. Comes in, comes in at 9.13? 9.13? Or then? 9.44. Oh, my goodness. You're going home before 9.44. No, I'm not. <laughs> I think you are. That money, then. Maybe I'll just drive you home. That money. Anyways. That money, mom. I don't think it's... money, money, money. So. Oh, money. Um, just wait. Just wait. So, thumb. That is my plan. Once I deliver Eric back home. No, Come back. Get my thumb done. Then I'll be all ready for when our snow comes in a couple of days. <laughs> then I'll really give these mitts that test <laughs> to see how they do, you know, like using a scraper on the windshield, like really put them through their test to see how pilly they get. But they're really nice and warm. Really nice and warm. I really, really like them. So... So close. Next week, I will have a finish, you guys. <laughs> I'm kind of thinking, instead of going, you know, week by week, maybe I just need to go month by month. And at the end of the month, maybe all of these projects that I'm working at a little bit every week, maybe by the end of the month, can do a, a monthly a finish roundup kind of thing. Is what I'm maybe will do. Amber has been making tons of mitts. Amber, what have you done? I saw polar bears. I saw hedgehogs. Now you said you're doing penguins. They are super cute. What are you doing with all these mitts? Are you just wearing a different pair to work every day? Or did oh, you say wow. you gave one pair to a coworker? Because that would be super cute. Because you work with kids. So um, that would be really fun for them to see you coming in with different mitts that look because you you had were they textured on the hand and then for kind of from here down yours were more pointy and then you had like little eyes and a little nose or ears or something on them and they looked really really cute really really cute okay so almost to finish boy it's taking me a long time to make these mitts and they're really really quick I'm doing them on a five and a half millimeter needle the yarn is a number seven, super bulky. So um, if you didn't want them so tight, like if you were doing a scarf or something, a cowl, you could go up to like a seven or nine millimeter needle with this yarn even. Um, but I want them snug for two reasons, because I don't want the wind blowing through them. And because there's this, this, this yarn's got the potential to pill really bad, I'm hoping the tighter I knit it, 
maybe that will reduce some of that. So we'll see. So that is a potential finish soon. My mosaic scarf. Hopefully we'll be done soon. And a little baby sweater. It also has the potential to be done quick. So maybe by the end of the month, I really will have a few finishes. Um, last week's cast on. Well, that is, I'll show it to you. Which one is I have it? it. I have it down here somewhere. Oh, which one is it? Is it that white one? This white one and the green one. Which, so. Which green one? This one? This one. This one. Okay, if you tell me like. Okay. Talk, All right. Talk, people. Okay. These are waiting for you. <laughs> okay. Do you want to hold the green one in here? Talk, mom. I am talking. Hurry. Do you want to hold the green so they can see both of them? Mom, hurry, please. Talk. Okay. Talk. So last week's cast on, you guys voted for hemp or you voted for cotton. And the winning was the hemp. No. So. The, the green one. There it is. The green one. Eric's got the green one. The green one, Sam. Okay, so the green and the white. So this was going to be another mosaic knit, and I was going to do a dishcloth or um a pot holder, a pot holder. So, well, they're both they both get used in the kitchen, right? <laughs> um, so I just got cast on. That's all I had. That's all I did. But I can show you. I've. I just randomly opened up. So I've got this book. I don't know. I think I showed this to you before. This is where the other pattern came from. And it's on here. The blue mosaic scarf. I think it is actually. Doesn't matter. I'm, the problem. I'm looking right at it and can't see it. Anyways, this is what I, I've just been using the charts. And then turning them into the scarves or turning them into pot holders. So what I have done is I've just flipped open to another chart and I'm going to knit from that. So these books, these are really, I mean, these are really old books, but they're really, really good. And this was an old library book. So I'm not sure if they're still in the library system, if you can get them out. But um, she's got some really great patterns. So what I did was I just figured out you look at the the chart and you look at the very first row of what you're going to be knitting and you look at the color that that row number one the knit stitch colors and you cast on with the opposite color so you row number one you decide what are your knit stitch colors what are your slip stitch colors whatever your slip stitch colors are that's what you want to cast on with and then knit one row because then you've got those stitches there that you can actually slip. So that's just, you look at the chart, you just determine which color you're going to be casting on. I'm going to cast on with green because my first row, I'm going to actually knit with the white and I'm slipping green stitches. So I've got this set up to start. The hemp just feels so different. Some of you guys were worried that the cotton was not going to be soft. And when you compare the cotton and the hemp, it makes the cotton feel really, really soft. The hemp is <laughs> definitely, yeah, feel that. That feels Does that like, feel soft? That does feel soft. Now feel those stitches on the needle. One second before, one second, which I'm sorry for this. My mom, my mom, my mom has, has, her, has her hand out, 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 out of the video. That's okay. Which one does that feel? Does this which one felt soft? Does this one feel softer? I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah, this one felt softer. Mm -hmm. Yes, it does. So mm -hmm. the cotton definitely feels softer than the hemp. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I like the hemp. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get my corner. Are you? Okay. You just, 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 just get my top ready. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mom, mom, mom. We'll wait and see. Pop. So, the hemp. Sorry, I love knitting. Sorry, sorry followers. He is trying to wrangle a pop out of me. No, 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 no. <laughs> actually, 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 he he followers. I actually, I really am because 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 to be actually honest with you, I really am because because 
because I really am thirsty here. Yeah, and my 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 mom my mom picture won't will not let me ever have a curd. Which I'm which I'm which I'm trying to find followers. Yeah, why don't you just sit? Which I really minute. am trying to find. Um, I'm trying to find you. Okay, just here. We're going to talk about yarn. No, I really want to find We're going to talk about yarn. I really want to. So, anyways. Here it is. Here it is, followers. Okay. <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> Eric, Eric. Me happy. Okay, well, be happy me, and quiet all at the same time. Me happy. So, hemp. Me and I really, Maria. really do like knitting me with hemp. Maria. So I'm excited to give me this and, a start. Me and very happy. Eric. Me and very happy. Okay. Here. We'll be happy Here. and quiet. All right. Me and very so, happy. anyways, this is going to get started. Hi. Okay. Hi. Hi. All right. I I I think I I think I I could be a trouble trouble your followers once again. <laughs> once we're not live. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is gonna get started. So Eric, don't you well, can't do that. Well, well, I'm trying to be. To, he to, is trying to, to nice. break his neck. Is what he's trying to do. I know I'm not. Okay, so. I'm not here, sir. I'm not trying to break my neck, and you should know that, mom. Okay. So, has anybody else knit with hemp? No. Eric has not? Oh, we could fix that, Eric. Oh, I saw yeah. somebody say, yeah, oh, Sherry said the hemp would be good, durable. Oh, yes, what reusable. What yes, what like a, like a um, produce bag or a shopping bag. What does that mean? What does that mean? Um, let's see. Uh oh, Amber oh, had to re Amber had to restart something. Oh, oh. oh no, the penguin mitts you restarted four times. That's not good. That is well. That's not good. That means you should be set and on track because <laughs> you must have worked all the kings out of them by now, right? <laughs> oh, Nikki. <laughs> um. Mom? Yeah. Come here. Come here. All right. All right. Come here. Okay. Be careful. Um, Walking through one, there. One, one second, please, followers. If I, if I tur tur turn you on, sorry if I'm not okay, followers. All right. We'll try. If you could see my setup here. <laughs> and then Eric's trying to squeeze through. Anyways. <laughs> I know, Susie. I'm it's, very it's, sorry it's, about it's a losing battle. It really is. I really am sorry, Susie. Um, I'm sorry about Susie. Okay. Oh, Jude has not knit with hemp. Okay. <laughs> oh, but the magical Asa helped me with a button question. Oh, well, she um, is good. Um, um, hey, Susie. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be right back. Hey, Susie, I'm just, I'm just going to go down, down, down to the store. All right, Here, you hey, go. And I'm going to take, take you some cash out. Bye, Susie. All right. Okay. So, so just mom, just come back. So mom, mom, yes. Mom, I'm going to take this pressure, okay? Is it okay? Okay. All right. I'm going to take so, you. I'm going to take you two hundred dollars. No, don't do that. Two hundred dollars. Yeah. Bye, Susie. Okay. Oh my goodness, you guys. Okay. So sorry. So sorry. Um. Okay. Well, yeah, so thank goodness. I also helped you with, with a, a button question earlier. So now you've learned how to add buttons to a cardigan that doesn't have, oh, that didn't, so like, did you do like an afterthought buttonhole? That's exciting. Nikki, oh, you have hemp, but you've not knit with it. You cast on and ripped it out, oh, like three years ago. Um, well, I like it. I really like it. It definitely has a different feel to it. If you're looking for something super, super soft, I know sometimes we talk about dishcloth cotton and what is softer, you know, like Burnett Handicrafter or Dishy, Nipix Dishy. Yeah, hemp doesn't fall in that category. Like it is um, not very soft. So, um, <laughs> 
it's uh but it's nice i like it i really really like it so i can't wait to actually get this started so i'm gonna just check oh hi diane you're here how was your class diane was teaching you it was te you were knitting tonight right teaching knitting um how did it go oh don't apologize <laughs> sorry well i am saying sorry because eric sometimes gets very excitable and um doesn't listen all that well so anyways, yeah, you probably <laughs> weren't anticipating this. Oh, so not an afterthought, Jude, but never made anything with buttons. Oh, left and right salute me. Yes. Well, very good. I'm so glad that Asa walked you through that. Oh, so Jocelyn's saying you love the finished feel of hemp. Oh, once it's all done and washed and blocked, the same with linen cotton. Yeah, so it does it does soften up as you wash it, it and it's really durable. So I think it'll be fantastic once I get past the cast on. <laughs> oh my goodness, Eric has enthusiasm to no end. <laughs> that is true. Is hemp like lopi? Sam asked. No, it's so hemp is rough but it's not itchy because this is a plant and the lopi is wool. So it's not itchy. So if you're allergic to wool, hemp would be fine because hemp is more like cotton, Sam. Um, oh yeah, so probably some kind of the same in some aspects, right, Nikki? Yeah, yes. Anyways, so that has been my knitting week. How have you guys been making it? Is anybody anybody casting on anything new this week? Anybody close to a finish? I'm really super happy with my mitts, you guys. I have to say, I'm not even, I don't know what I'm expecting. I'm kind of expecting that they're not going to wear very well, but I don't even know if that worries me. I mean, I'm sitting here kind of I'm like trying to felt them on purpose because I just want these to be mitts that I throw on every day when I go out to go to work. So they don't have to be super fancy, but they are nice and warm. I like really like this yarn. Um, oh, oh, Nikki, you cast on and finished a hat yesterday. The same hat Cheryl knit. Oh, and showed us the, so the, the mosaic one that I can't remember for the life of me what the name of that was. I can't remember anything. It was, yeah, it was cute. Did Now, did you do your little slip stitch pattern? Did you do it all the same? Because Cheryl's hat was like what, it was brown with like beige or off-white slip stitches. Did you do yours all the same or did your rows, <laughs> your rows of slip stitches, did you alternate? Because I think that would look really fun is to do like yellow and a pink and a blue and a green. It would be fun. It looked like a really quick knit. And I can't remember the name. Hmm, going to have to think on that one. Oh, Jude, okay, one afterthought pocket and ends from finishing this Cody. So that's what you're working on? That's like, so you're super, super close then, Jude, to having... A really finished finished if you're weaving in all your ends that's good jocelyn you started a granny square tabletop cover for your coffee table with some of the cotton yarn susanna gave you susanna that is so nice all your little your leftover ends so were these from susanna you were doing like market bags and like bath scrubby things is that what you're were these all the ends from those kind of projects that's great if jocelyn can turn them into a cute little project. Oh, Nikki, you posted in the Fiber Friends group? Okay. Oh, you did the main color rainbow and, and some black. That would look cute too. Susie, you cast on a dishcloth. Oh, and, and pulled it out. Oh no. Um, and then found another mosaic pattern started again. Okay, I can't wait to see it. Amber, your penguin mitts is getting close to finish. Black yarn, not fun. Yeah, it is hard to knit with, isn't it? Diane, you got three more inches. Oh, three more inches and you should be done. Your skirt, no way. The crocheted granny skirt, I had to laugh. Diane, 
we asked because we had asked, I think it was Saturday, wasn't it? We asked you to post pictures of your your granny square skirt, and you you post it, and you had like what one or two rows, and you said I'm not going to model it because you didn't you know like for fear of going to jail because <laughs> it would have been like a micro micro mini. <laughs> That is so exciting if you're like you're getting close to being done. Oh, just need to work out your decreases. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I cannot wait to see you wearing this. Oh, I could just see you modeling it. Oh, love it. That's it. Susan. Oh, Susanna, you are the best. Yes. Um, Jelka, J-E-L-K-A. That's the hat that Cheryl made and that Nikki just finished. Oh, Nikki's also going to make mitts out of the leftovers. Oh, from the night shift shawl and the hat I mentioned. So I will buy, oh, gift. Oh, okay. So be a gift. Okay. What is this? A gift of hat and mitts and shawl. That'll be really nice. That'll be really nice. Oh, and you think you saw Nikki's? I'm going to have to go look at it now. Labrina, you finished a pair of socks from the encouragement last week. That is so amazing. So you plan to make a pair each month. Oh, my goodness. You got your January pair all done with days to spare. Oh, my gosh. That is so exciting. I tried to do a pair a month. <laughs> Labrina, I tried last year. I didn't. I failed. But you are on the right track. You can do it. Socks and I... I don't know. I don't know what it is with socks and I. I want to knit socks. And when I really want to knit socks, I can knit socks. But then I lose interest. I want to knit out like everything else. So I don't know if I will ever get 12 pairs done in a year. Maybe some year. Maybe if I don't make it a goal, that's when I will get 12 pairs done. Anyways, that's exciting, Labrina. Well, Super, do you have your February socks picked out? Are you going to start them now? Or are you going to start them in February? Hmm. I would say start them now. <laughs> if it was me, I'd be starting February socks now. Hi, Sally. How are you? You're working on your cozy up knits, Mystery Knit Along. How are you liking it? Hi, Louise. Oh, Cheryl Knit the Jelka Hat by Isabel Kramer. Yes. Good job you guys know what we've been talking about. Out. That's fantastic. Oh, you gave Jocelyn full cakes. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Oh, that's so exciting, Susanna. You are so generous. Sam. Oh, what is this? Louise, want to guess how many dishcloths? Okay, yes. So we typically always ask Sam how many dishcloths. Sam is going for 200 dishcloths by the end of the year. So how many do you have done, Sam? Does anybody want to guess how many dishcloths Sam has done? What are we? Or January... 23rd, right? Holy moly. 23rd. Seven, oh, seven, eight days left in January. Yikes. This month is just flying by. Um, oh, <laughs> I think you're close to 45. That would be a lot. That would be a lot. Not even close, Amber. I think that's maybe a little high, Amber. Even for Sam, who like whips them out so quickly. Oh, Liz, that's right. You're in the process of moving. So, yes. So, you've got, you've got kind of got deadline house stuff to do, right? You've got to, yeah, pack and pack <laughs> and more packing, sorting, getting rid of 17, 23, 25. Oh, Susanna, yes, the Jocka hat is a free pattern. Well, that's nice, right? It's it's always good to do buy paid for patterns because you're supporting the designer. But every once in a while, it's nice to get something for free too, isn't it? That you don't have to have to buy. That is exciting. Well, everybody's got good projects on the go here. Some close, some finishes. That's all super exciting. I'm actually looking forward to it snowing, just so I can wear these mitts. So this will be a fun project. Yeah, I'm liking these so much better. Even my tops on my mitts, because they're not very fitted. And at first I wasn't so sure if I liked it or not. And this was the decrease that was on the original drops pattern, or at least something close to it. 
and uh, and it's basically the same as my increase that I did on all of my ribbed hats was just three rounds of decreases. So I thought, hmm, maybe I'll just keep that and just keep things consistent. Three rounds of decreases on the hat, three rounds of decreases on the, on the top of the mitts. And when I first put it on, I thought, oh, maybe it feels a little bulky here because you don't have all of that gradual narrowing in. And, but it's not that bad, really. Once I've had them on a little bit, you do have a little bit of room up here that normally would be a little narrower, but it actually, it's it's okay. And it was a quick way of doing mitts. And, oh, we've got some more. Nikki's saying 25. Sally says eight. Labrina, you're going to start, in, oh, you're going to start in February on your February socks because you have two sweaters on the needles. That's like, super exciting. Plan to do... Um, oh, six socks only. Oh, I plan to do six socks only. That's fair. So Sock Madness is starting. I did, before I went to work this morning, I did take a look on Ravelry through the, the Sock Madness Forever group. That's where you have to go. If you're interested in doing Sock Madness, you have to join that group, Sock Madness Forever. And then keep an eye out February 1st to the 14th is the official sign up. So not only if do you have to join the Ravelry group, you actually have to sign up, which um, last year it was a Google Doc that you had to fill out and then email in. So if you're at all interested in Sock Madness, February 1st, which is now, what did I just say? Eight days away. Oh my gosh. That is Crazy. I have to, well, A, find some empty sock needles for starters. I need to gather up all my sock yarn. So I think my day off this weekend, that is what I'm going to have to prioritize. Pull out all my sock yarn because there's some colorwork socks in the, the list. They give you materials for all of the seven rounds plus the qualifying, so eight socks. And I need to have some beads. So I need to get my materials all sorted this weekend. Definitely have to do that. Might even do that a little bit tonight. We'll see. But it is something to look forward to. It seems like, well, I mean, a year ago. A year ago, March, I think we started Sock Madness. I did the qualifying round. I made it through. And oh my gosh, that was like one of the most exciting things to know that my socks had made it through. Did not finish the for the first round one. I finished, did I finish? Actually, I think I did finish those socks, but I did finish the socks, but I just missed qualifying on my team. So my goal for this year is to qualify and then try to get round one done and qualify and move on to round two. And every year, if that's all I ever do, I think I'll be happy. But, um, oh, is Sam actually telling us what her dish count count is? Yes, Amber saying, so Sam, what is the dishcloth count? I'm guessing, I think Sally is close with eight. I don't, 17 might be close, but I don't think she's in the 20s yet. So... Yeah, Sock Madness is coming. So then I, you know, so I got kicked out of Sock Madness pretty early, but it was fun just watching um, the thread and seeing people's finished socks and people post them on Instagram, all the finishes. And it was pretty inspiring. Like the sock patterns are challenging, but definitely fun. So I've been waiting all summer long, like waiting for February to come back so I could try it again. And now it's it's like waiting for Christmas. And then all of a sudden it's the week before Christmas. And you're like, oh my gosh, how did it come so quick, right? And that's what it feels like about Sock Madness. So it is time for me to get all of my supplies gathered because I am going to, yeah, give it a really good try and see, see how I make it. And truly, even if I just qualify, I would still be super happy with just that. Did Sam give us a count? Is Sam still here? <laughs> Maybe Sam is counting her dish claws. Madness says it all. Because, it, it, yeah, it, it really it is a little bit of madness. 
Um, oh, Hubby just asked about socks having beads. Yes, there's two, two pairs of socks that have beads. So I'll have to pull out all my bead stash and see what I've got. Oh, Sam, you've done 13 dishcloths. Wow. That is, that's amazing. 13 in 23 days. Pretty good. Very, very, very good. Jude. Oh, you have to miss out on the map. Oh, that's right. Oh, yes, Jude, because you're in school, aren't you? Um, yes, due to exams. I enjoy being able, yeah. So, well, you know what? Once you're all done school, then you'll be able to join back in. Yes. It's, um, I'm, I'm really excited. I'm excited and nervous all at the same time because <laughs> it is, it's a little stressful. I can't imagine the knitters that get down to the last few rounds when like you really have to knit quick. And I, for, I forget what it was, what the time, the, the winning, the two, the final two, like, I don't know if it was just like hours between when one person finished and the next person finished. So it's like pretty close, really, really close. Oh, Susie's saying, Sam, that's great. You will have to post a picture of your pile. Yes, exactly. Oh, Diane, you are one dishcloth off. Well, look at that. You should go buy a lottery ticket. <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, we are at our one hour mark. I think we will just say goodbye now because Eric had better be back soon. <laughs> And we might as well say goodbye before he comes bursting through the door again. So everybody, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for voting for this very pretty lilac yarn. It's going to make a super, super cute sweater. I can't not wait to start knitting the baby things. I don't know, baby things, sock madness, and our two-week sweater challenge. Jocelyn and I's two-week sweater challenge starts February 9th. There was too many things going on all at once here. It is going to be a lot of fun knitting for February. I tell you, it's going to be lots of fun. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for voting. Thanks for joining. Sorry about the little, the lot of craziness that was going on here tonight. So join me again next Monday. I'm not sure what the, the, uh, we've got one more. Yes, there's next Monday, I think is still January. I think, I think. So I'm not sure if it will be another baby knit. It might just be another baby knit. I'll see, maybe I can find that other yarn from Knit Stitch. Maybe I've got a week to locate it. Maybe it will be up for voting on next week. So thanks everybody, have a fantastic week. Get lots of knitting done. Cast on all the things, get your sock, done get your sock needles cleared for sock madness and start thinking about sweater knitting for the fiber friends february challenge because that will be lots and lots of fun okay everybody i'm gonna head out and i will see you guys all next monday bye